Hey there, can you uh, raise that lamp about six inches, right? Excellent. A butler should always look sharp. <laughs> so. At what point in the 22 season was it clear to you that the team was struggling? Oh, well, right after the Hungarian GP. I may only be the money, but even to me it was obvious. The whole thing was a sham. Yet again, Connor Sports Jackson and Butler battling it out on track. It seems as Hang if on they... two secs, Nat. Okay, Devon, Aiden's lapping faster than you. I need you to let him pass, please. Devon, do you copy? Listen to me, I need you to let Aiden pass now. Butler just completely blanking the order there. Seems like he can even acknowledge it. Too true, but as you can see, no way through for Jackson. No way at all. This Connor Sport rivalry is getting heated on the track here in Hungary. Hey yo, what is going on guys and welcome back to a new video on my channel, I hope you're all doing well and we are back with another F123 Breaking Point 2 Chapter 3 video. Well, this is the only Chapter 3 video that you will see on this channel, but you can see here, <laughs> I'm shocked, because um, yeah, the Breaking Point car is really rough over curbs, has a lot of collision with them. It's hard to ride some of them, so you need to be careful and hit the perfect angle if you turn a little bit too much while accelerating you're most likely gonna spin out with it. Okay, so, first of all, this is the final video on this channel on F123 preview. So the preview. It's not the final F123 video. But, for now, this is probably gonna be the last video that you are gonna see until sometime closer to the actual release of the game, so the 13th. It's not gonna be much longer, but it might be a slight period of no, or pretty much empty content well yeah not much is gonna follow on this channel unfortunately I'm really keen on playing the new game I'm not gonna touch F122 anymore so sorry for starting my old career mode episode 1 I really wanted to do that but then we had so much access to this game or like uh, in, in the frequent period so getting back to it it was a bit rough and yeah just didn't happen I'm sorry but on the new game we're gonna rock on career mode we're gonna rock on hot lap setups tips and tricks everything it's gonna be a flood of content for all of you guys out there so better make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you benefit the most from the content from Kiefer on the new game yeah but once again we're passing the AI on this game mode Leclerc pitted for softs a few laps before the final uh, a few few moments before actually we're crossing the start okay, finish so the line. Got the checkered flag, so I don't know what Ferrari was doing here. If he still had to pit, or if there was an issue, or I don't know. But not looking good for the Monegasque. Um, <laughs> yeah. But anyways, guys, it's not gonna be much longer. I'm really hyped. I want to create content on this game. I want to race. I want to win, I want to dominate, and I want you guys to be part of this, so um, yeah, I hope you're all excited for the new era of the F1 game, it's, it's time, I actually went karting today, that is pretty off topic, I don't know why I started saying that now, but I had lots of fun, it was at my local track, the first time I ever drove a go-kart, and yeah, kind of where everything started, and now I'm here, quite a few years later, a little bit wiser a little bit more refined <laughs> but yeah we're also gonna skip soon after the end of the race again to cutscenes so i'm gonna leave you with that and i'm gonna tune right back into the commentary booth as always but um, let me know also in the comments down below please what do you think about my current video style on this breaking point if you're fine with this that i recorded then commentate and then just send it live 
because I'm try I'm tr literally just trying to show you the highlights of uh, the breaking point career mode. Um, so I'm cutting it together to all the exciting moments and I'm leaving you the boring parts out. Um, Storyline wise I'm gonna show you as much as I can like also decision making I'm also gonna include that in this video but on the racing side I mean you don't have to see me drive the, this car for a few laps against hard AI <laughs> look at this we're literally pushing him and then well I made a really stupid move here wanted to see if we can dive in here but this is not really an overtaking opportunity not for a dive bomb it's so high speed like you barely touch the brakes um, just to rotate the car, but anyways, I'm gonna send you now over to the cutscenes and joy. Okay, well, a good race out there again today, Aiden. But what we do all want to know what exactly happened with Devon? It sounded like he completely ignored a direct team order. Uh, I have no clue about that, Natalie. We're completely different strategies. That'd be for Devon to answer. I'm just focused on what I need to do. Well, he did certainly seem to cause you some trouble out there today. And after that, and what happened in Canada, what would you say to those wondering if the old Jackson Butler rivalry is well and truly back? <laughs> no, that's, that's in the past, definitely. Uh, we're on the same team now. That's what matters. If there's anything that happens between me and Devon on track, it's because we're, we're so focused on making Connorsport a success. We're bound to tread on each other's toes from time to time. So issues with Devon aside, how do you feel it went out there today? Do you think the team will be pleased with your performance? Could I have pushed it harder? Probably. It was a good enough result, but, you know, with the past issues of the car, I feel maybe we held back a little bit. I'll definitely be putting in the work for the next race weekend, for sure. So, you mentioned the car there. In that regard, Connor Sport's not had the easiest of times so far this season. Has that all been sorted? Are those reliability... I hope so. I mean, today was good. Yeah, there was no issues with the car. It's, uh, it's always difficult when a driver brings everything they've got and the car lets them down at the last minute. But, you know, I've been told the team has, has got it all under control. So, yeah, we'll see what happens in the next few races. That's great. Thank you. Okay, I'll leave that in your capable hands. <sighs> Devon, you had a problem with a team order today? Didn't happen. What? Look, I know everyone's saying I ignored it, but it didn't happen. I never got the order. Check the comms. Shoddy workman always blames his tools, eh? Check the comms. Okay, we check the communication pipeline. Fix it. This cannot happen again. Typical. Aiden, listen. What's the point? It's just Devon being Devon. And what? That makes it okay? He's an arrogant... No, you're right to call him out. But imagine if we didn't give him certain freedoms. He'd be even harder to manage. As his father, I know. Aiden, you're the best driver. That we have and it's right for you to put Devon in his place he needs it the team needs it thanks between you and me I don't think this team is right for me I think honestly we don't deserve you and I know that you've been discussed at other teams so just keep doing what you're doing sure I'm sorry if I've spoken out of turn Devon. <laughs> Not at all. You know the best way? Keep Devon in his place. What's that? Beat him. Look at my face. Because I actually, I feel like the storyline here Could you take a look at this is really good. It's taking a turn. I hope um, Mr. Butler the father of uh, Devon is not just faking this, but he actually means it. So this is going to cause some drama and we will have an interesting story at least to follow, which is cool to see. I don't think I was the biggest fan of the Casper Ackerman storyline, but this one seems pretty good so far. It will be interesting. 
And yeah, here we are making decisions for the team. And this is part of the story. I don't know if you guys are really interested in that because it, I don't think it changes much. Maybe it does, but I still don't understand why there's like a leveling system. If maybe it has an impact on the story or not. Who knows? But I'm still integrating it just so you guys see everything. And in a few moments, there's another phone call. So I'm going to leave you with the cutscene. Davidoff. So. And? Nothing to worry about. Don't think there'll be any more problems. What did you say? Doesn't matter. We level with each other. Just leave Aiden to me from now on. And uh, what about Devon? What about Devon? We both know it wasn't a comms, right? Andrea, listen. Devon may push his luck from time to time, but I won't have his integrity questioned. If he says it was the comms, then you know what to do. Yes. Right. <clears throat> sure. I'll have them checked again. See that you do. And there it is. This is uh, the final bit of Breaking Point Chapter 3. I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you did, you know what to do. Subscribe, leave a like, comment down below. And I've enjoyed that. So let's see the full version of it. See you soon, guys.